All right, guys, welcome down to part three here at Stockport Golf Club. Myself, Rick Shields, and Pete Finch. And you, as you can see on the camera, it's getting quite dark. <laughs> We're going to play as many holes here on the part three at Stockport Golf Club, our exclusive videos here for Golf Monthly Magazine and Golf Monthly's YouTube channel. And what a cracking course, what a cracking evening. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it gorgeous? If you've not seen part one and two, go and check it out on the channels up here and here in the beautiful sky. Uh, really struggling to see you there, Pete, but it'll all be good. It's just a bit of a silhouette. <laughs> I like it. So it's a par four, this one. You've got to really land it about 200 yards and then it's a little pitch, 80, 90 yard pitch into the green. So I've got me one iron. Oh, that's better. I've, I've come down. Oh, that's bad. Now I can see you. Ooh, that's a little bit left. Might see it down. Oh, it hit trees. Yeah, fully, well, drawy. Drawy. Same again, just... Hit it straight. <laughs> Just as easy as that. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that takes quali qualification. I'm, I'm drawing it at the moment, and I'm drawing it back into the wind. Oh, hybrid. Yeah. Just gonna knock one down there, 200 yards ish. Yeah. Back into the breeze, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. We come down a bit as well. Now oh, there you are. There you are. You can do it better there, can't you? Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, perfect. It might have a little bit of snow on it. Perfect though. You got some there. Uh, got some height on it. Well done. Wow. So we find uh, Pete in a tricky situation here. Slightly awkward stance, isn't it? Mm. And literally a treat in your head. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, pin is, you'll just see it through the gap there. What are you gonna go with? Um, I'm gonna hit a five. It's only 145. I'm gonna hit a five, just a low punch, and I'm hopefully gonna try and kill it in those banks. Yeah, we so see it, ya. It should pop up and then. So there we go. Roll down a bit. So it's a nice, generous lie. Bit of, apart from the tree in your head. I'll try and get low for this ball flight. Just one second, and we get low. Yeah, there we go. We're low. Yeah, nice shot. Let's hit the bank. Did do much else? Well, I played it pretty much how I wanted to. I can't see it though. We'll get down there and try and find it. How far we got? 95. 95. What are we going with? It's a bit into breeze. I'm going to hit a little half 50 degree. Just really keep it low. So pin straight down. I like a blue flag, by the way. I don't know what it is. I really like a blue flag. Ball Rick scene is green right now. Green for go. Come out right on you. For distance. Yeah, I don't it squeezed out right. That was a bit of a funny one. I, I, I really did try and hit it low. I squeezed one right before when I tried yeah. to hit it low. Just not timing. It's a little well. bit low, below your feet ball wise though. It's alright then, put it for a birdie. Right. Oops. Bunk is here? Yeah. So if you looked at the planner that's in my pocket. Wow. Wow. That guy. You've seen that guy. So <laughs> he's in the bunker. He's got a little shot up to the green here. Uh, like I say, it's getting quite late and dark, so we're We've just picked up the speed of touch. Stop quick. Beauty. Well done. Nice little shot. Well done. So, not too bad of a bunker shot there, Rick. Got to put across the green for a birdie. Um, it's kind of hard to tell when it's... I know it looks very light on the camera, guys, but it's pretty dark. So it's quite hard to tell which way it breaks. If I was taking educated guess, I'd probably say not a lot. No, if it's going to go anywhere, it's going to go off my right. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to just roll it in. Okay. <laughs> right then. Let's do this. It's a good looking putt. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Not much movement there at all. Rattle at it. Carol, listen. 
Do you want to roll in it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, I tried to almost go the other way there. She got, she's quite with feathers on. Yeah, nice. Playing a feathery. It's not a, look, <laughs> it's not a lucky charm. So, Pa. Well, from that angle, yours almost came this way then. Mm, I'm not sure if I struck it as pure as I could have done. Uh, don't wow. be doing that in open qualifying, using your phone as a marker. You can use whatever you want as a marker. I know, but come on, Pete. I'm going to take a book. <laughs> a golf manual. <laughs> ben Hogan's you. Five Lessons. Looking at the way yours kind of came in there, I'm going to go dead straight. It looks so much lighter on the camera. Come on. Keep it up. Pushed it. Pushed it. And Pierre, for this to stay level. Yeah. Just had a few choice words with myself. I'm sorry if you did hear that. Yeah, hopefully I can cut it out in the edit. Yeah, hopefully I can cut, cut it out in the edit. Yeah, I had to cut quite quickly after Pete missed that. But so let's head down the uh, eighth hole. Two more holes. Hopefully we can score. So we are on the eighth. Eight. <laughs> uh, par three hundred and ninety-eight yards. Sheltered by trees a little bit. Again, another hole enclosed by trees. I'm absolutely loving the look of this course. Four iron? Yeah. Straight down at it, I think. That looks very straight at it. Whoop, whoop. You see it? Yeah, yeah, just on the back edge. That's how dark it is, guys. The camera can see better than us. Yeah, I literally, I literally can't see that. I'm surprised you can see that. Oh, God, yeah, the camera's much brighter. Yeah, yeah. Lost without the technology. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hit that well, straight at it. Yeah. What are you hearing? Uh, four iron as well. Just by the way that your four iron went earlier in the round, compared to mine. I reckon this is probably going to be good. Oh, it's right on it. Oh, it's a tiny bit short. Yeah. Oh, is that me literally hanging on the back of the green? Yeah, yeah. I didn't quite catch mine. Okay. We're down there. Right, and so Pete's just come up short and I've just come up a bit long. We've not uh, threatened the flag, certainly, anyway. <laughs> We've almost threatened the green. So we need a, we need two good up and downs here. Pete's got up the hill, bit yeah. of slope off the left. Uh, I'm just going to get a sandwich, just chip and run. So much brighter on the camera, it's untrue. What a lovely chip. Whoa, 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 where are you going? It's unbelievable. Never looked like it was going to be that far. <laughs> but I <love> the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it was always going long on the camera. <laughs> I thought I played that really nicely then. They are funny, these greens, that you, some have really kind of grabbed and some have really ran on. Oh, I just left myself a good, a good 12 feet there now. So Rick at the back of the green. Do you want to leave it in or out? Uh, in. In, okay. I've not got a camera, can I, I can barely see it. I can see you perfectly, stop moaning. <laughs> stop lying to the audience. I'll, sh I'll swing around and show you the moon in a minute. <laughs> try and knock it to your ball. Okay. Reactions there. Very, very different. Well, that would indicate that we're putting uphill, mm, I would that, say. That made out much more. I don't know if I'm with that. I was expecting it to come a little bit more up than that. So, I would say now you are straight uphill there. Yeah. Mm. But we will see.
Look at all these oak trees surrounding this green. It's awesome. Break in. Oh, it's not moved. Not moved at all. Dip, 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 dip. Learning, learning, learning. That's what's all that, Pete. <laughs> That's what it's all about. It's not that. I was confusing. Confusing, definitely right. Pete, for par? Yours was. Dead straight. I didn't really see much movement after mine went past the hole either, so I'm going to say this is pretty straight as well. To stay at level. Yeah, good putt, sir. Good putt, good putt. Right, over to the ninth, our last hole before it gets ridiculously dark. Did you show them the moon? Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, that's just the moon up there. <laughs> that's just a planetary body in orbit around our, so our solar system. <laughs> okay, last hole on our right, exclusive golf monthly vlog. And here at Stockport Golf Club, par 5, 480 yards. Uh, Pete's currently level, I'm currently 3 over, so it's a, a welcome par 5 for, for both, certainly me. Should uh, blast straight down the middle, I guess. Yeah, we're not quite sure where it is now anymore, to be honest, so we're just going to give it a rifle, see what it does. Absolutely bombed it. Okay. Well, if that's not okay, I don't know what ever will be. Good drive. I love it when it gets dark. I lose more fear. It's an odd thing when people say they're scared of the dark. I love it. Did you pick that tee up? I did. Carry it back then, please. Maybe. <laughs> Mighty. <laughs> Where is it? There you go. Can't be this on open qualifying. Yeah, you watch. Can you imagine if we're paired together? What a nightmare that's going to be. Where are we going to put the camera? I'll <laughs> <laughs> have to give it to people who come watch. Right, I'm going to follow your line. I'd say that's a good plan. Okay, give it a blast. Slightly left. Towards that area. Didn't hear it. Hit hear it. Didn't hear it no. Let's get down and see. So Ricky's taking this exceptionally seriously. His ball's over here. So I don't know what he's wandering around for. Prowling in his nighttime habitat. You'll often see him wandering the streets of. I'm going to be about two hundred. What's that? What? I've had 200 away, don't forget I'm editing this. <laughs> yes, this is true. What did you say? I said nothing, about 200 yards away. I think I am. Okay. So just down here, I might have kind of clipped that tree and come back down. I don't really know what, honestly, where the hole is. Yeah, like I was saying, you can always kind of often see him just wandering around in the night time with a club, yeah, hunting out for targets. Up. What? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Come on, you got about if 200. The, if the audio just happens to fail on this clip, you know why. I was just saying what a nice guy you are. Right, five iron. I also don't <laughs> I think that sentence was five iron, full stop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the hell it was at all. That was amazing. It was a fantastic shot. Come on, lighten, lighten. Oh, God. That, 
That guy's, by the way, it's not lining there. That's how dark it actually is. Um, I don't know. If, it, if it's, I don't know. It looked good. It, it looked look good. good. So Pete's bombed the drive down here. Best drive you've hit today. Uh, we've managed to see the flag now and the 200 mark. We're, I'm still, we're about 210 away. So I must have been 225. So I don't think I'm going to get there. We'll see. So I'm going to go four iron. Um, I know where the pin is. So I'm just going to go to the right. Hopefully draw it in. Seems I've literally had to film bit. it this way because I can't see anything the other way. It's, it's, like it's a little bit. It's gone really dark now. Into off the right, so see where this ends up. Slightly left of your intended pin, would you say? Yeah, not got a clue. Let's go and find out. Ah, go on. Right, so as we suspected, Pete was a little bit left and found the bunker. Yeah, not and mine has miraculously <laughs> got to the front edge. I just. From now on, I just not don't need to know where the flag is. That was a complete, honestly, complete guess. And it's given me a chance for an eagle on the last hole. So Pete down the hill with the bunker shot, he said it wasn't lying particularly nice. What a, what a really nice bunker shot that was. Shot. Well, the way that kind of broke, I think yours is going to be... Thanks for the advice. I, I've uh, accidentally took the flag out um, and I can't be bothered putting it back in so I'm actually using the monopod uh, to tend with. So uphill, left to right, for a eagle. Yeah, I think I might need yours marked actually. Oh, bloody hell, I'll tell you what, bloody maintenance. Right then, eagle. eagle. So guys, I'm going to take some nifty footwork here to kind of jump up and out the way. Quite, lit oh. quite literally. <laughs> wow. That was pacey. That was pacey. Some would say you went for that. Yeah, shall I roll that in? It's hard to see what it's even going to do. No, it's definitely right to left. It's downhill. Right edge and drop it in. Come on, sir. Very good. Nice birdie. Thank you. Gets me back to two, which... So-so. Uh, So-so. Right, Pete, for birdie to take you back to one under. One under. So it must go left to right. Come on, come on spirits of the night, channel this ball into the hole. Damn you spirits! Damn you. Roll in for par. Right guys, hopefully you've enjoyed take, our take a in the dark. absolutely <laughs> exclusive course vlog for Golf Monthly. YouTube channel myself, Rick Shields and Peter Finch. You can subscribe to both our channels by clicking the big buttons here and here in the corner. You can subscribe to my Golf Monthly by clicking the big link in that corner. Thank you, Peter. No problem. And we shall see you all soon. Thanks for watching, guys. And that's us playing Stockport in the dark. Obviously. <laughs>